Hey there, greetings fellow Wastelanders, Timberwolf here, another Fallout 76 adventure. It's been a while, I've been in Diablo 4, probably will be again later today, but want to pop into Fallout 76, Appalachia, and uh, work on some of uh, daily and weekly quests on that scoreboard, on the new scoreboard there. So uh, let's get at it, got a few left to do uh, before we do that. I just have to, because it's beautiful. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay, just had to do that. I don't know. Okay, um, let's see, a couple, several of these uh, daily and weekly quests uh, revolve around uh, workshop and camp stuff. So, my camp is already, like, you know, max. There's nothing really... Damn, more build. <laughs> nice. Um, what I usually do is I go ahead and hop on up to my favorite, my favorite workshop, was Hemlock Holes, and... Uh, I like it better than Tyler Springs or whatever the heck, Tyler uh, Racetrack place. It's, to me, it's a little, little easier um, as far as the layout's concerned. Look at that vault paint job on that fixer, huh? Isn't that sweet? Not too thrilled with the vault tech uh, backpack. It looks really basic and corny. It looks like something uh, somebody put together in a... Uh, high school crafts class, but whatever. Yeah, I don't come into uh, Appalachia very often anymore just because there's really nothing left for me to do. I mean, I've got the best weapons I've ever, you know, that I'll, I'll ever need. And it's not like I can level up anymore. I mean, I could, but what's the point? There's no incentive. You're not going to get any stronger. So I, I said that. I posted that on uh, on Bethesda's page. I said, listen, you got to implement some kind of Paragon or Legendary leveling system so there's some reason for growth. That's why I, I play so much Diablo 4 now. As you saw in some of my other videos, they've got a massive Paragon leveling system. There is just so much endgame leveling there. You're just constantly able to grow and build your character more and more and more and more. It's amazing. They, they did a phenomenal job with that. You know, these guys just, uh, I don't know. But, hey, you know, a lot of people still play for the social aspect, which I do. I mean, I still love my Wasteland Looney Bin um, friends and plan on networking with a few of them today, possibly, hopefully. But, uh, for right now, though, let's see. So we got that workshop going. And, uh, let's see, what are we supposed to do? Got to build a floor or wall decoration. So, five for the daily and 25 for the weekly, okay? So obviously I'm gonna do 25 so I can just kill two birds with one stone. However, one thing I know is that I'm not gonna get a chance to do it yet because not soon after you take this workshop, somebody's already trying to come to fight you. So let's go ahead and deal with that. I deal with that is I get a bunch of these cryo turrets ready to go.
I love the fact I can put one up there in the tree. Build a floor or wall decoration. Ah, okay. I misread that. Alright, first, let's fix my perks. Let's get rid of this dumb thing now and put my through hiker back on. Alright. Well, for decorations, see, I don't really intend to do much with this place. It's just here for me to get a couple of scoreboard stuff. So, easiest decoration I find, um, most of the time, I just go over to, there we go, and just drop a bunch of eggs. read that again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so for the daily, I just had to build five decorations. But for the weekly, that's when I got to do the floors and walls. Okay. make a haunted house porch thingy. I'll 
let's go to the other plan, just make a bunch of concrete floors. Holy moly. Uh. Damn. I didn't expect to fly that high. Uh. Ow. Okay, if I cover you that, will that stop burning me? Let's find out. Yes, it does. Cool. Good. I don't like that thing anyways. Trying to frickin'... That's the one thing that isn't great about this place. Is there's not a lot of room for building. What? What? Are you kidding me? It's coming right through the floor! <laughs> oh, I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? It's, like, really nasty. Wow, I didn't expect that, though. Okay, um... So... Okay, um... Nah, so that's just not... So now, let's make some walls. Vault-tech walls. Why? Because we got buttloads of concrete. Ow. Ow. There we go. There we go. Alright, we hit the daily. Okay. Now, there's another one, I believe, that said I need to scrap concrete. And the funny thing is, is you don't have to go out and find it. You can scrap the concrete that you just built. It counts. As crazy as that sounds, it does count. Still got more workshops um, challenges to do, so. But let me show you what I was talking about here. We'll go to scoreboard. And, no, oh, oops, not scoreboard. Challenges. And just go to weekly. Oh, it didn't work. They freaking fixed it. It used to work. I swear it did. Okay. But now it's like scrap junk to produce concrete. So basically what we got to do is... Um, yeah, no, nah, we're good. I, I, we got that. Um, we'll, we'll be all right. Oh, I got more scorched arms to cripple, too. Son of a beast thing. Damn. Whatever. Okay. All right. So what's going to be the bad guy here? The, the big beastie that we got to take on. Hopefully there's snally gassers. That'd be nice. All rats. Most annoying creatures ever, because they don't show up until you're on the ground. Done with that. All right, what 
other challenges do we have to do in the workshops Oops, or camps or whatever? Um, there's the one. Yeah, we got to build a shelter now. Um, okay. So... Oh, I can't put a shelter in here, can I? So this means I gotta go back to my actual camp. Okay. Some of our UK fr uh, members were supposed to be jumping on right about now. It's about 8 o'clock their time. So I'll check in a minute and see if they're around. But I still think this is really cool, having the clear skies in the Ashlands. It's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, let's see. Anybody in? Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I mean, Drummer Sticks, he's one of us. Um, he's a cool dude. And Bitter Cup Kitty is very cool. Molly's awesome. But, I mean, most of my comrades are not available yet. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways. Oh, by the way, if you haven't built the birthday cake yet, you really want to because it's an unlimited source of food. And it is... Uh, herbivore food. So, and people are like, what do you survive on? I don't have to really go out and make food. All I got to do is keep coming back here and getting birthday cake. And not only is it great food, um, but it gives you super boosts just like the coffee does. It's awesome. So, right, it's perfect. Great idea. Love it. Stoopy mutants. Very stoopy for coming here. Got to tell you that. Um, so. Oh yeah. Um, shelter. Shelter. Uh, is this the new one I've been working on? Or not working on? Yeah, of all quarters, yeah. So there's plenty of room to build stuff in here. Because I haven't done much with this place yet. Uh, and again, what does the challenge say it wants me to do in here? Uh, floor or wall? Decorations again, okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to do what I did before. Just drop a bunch of eggs and that'll be the end of it. I have done some things with this place, like I've got this room here, um, the room that's horrifically orange. I figured, hey, let's turn it into like a circus room. Okay. Wish we could have like music themes in these rooms. Could do that. Okay. And then this room here. Um, haven't really put anything in it yet, but um, other than this really badly aligned wall here. Um, which I'll just throw something over here so nobody can see it. But other than that, yeah, I really changed, because this was another awful orange room like that one. And I said, no. So this is kind of cool, huh? I mean, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. But I just haven't been really inspired to do much of anything, honestly. 
Uh, all right, so back to the score of oh, not the scoreboard challenges. So wood, and after we collect, gather the wood, we gotta produce the bulk wood. Okay. We also have to do a daily operation. Uh, okay. Let's do a daily operation. We can do that, right? What do I want to do? Seems some people have moved into the lumber mill near Vault 76. I should find their leader and figure out what's going on. You know what? Never done this one before. It's one of the new ones in the woods. Let's do it. I can't tell I haven't played this game in a long time. So, lumber mill is, no, that's not it. Yeah, here it is. I don't care, it's 31 caps to go there. Look at tons of caps and nothing to spend them on. Alright. Disarm. You got what's going on hello there stranger where'd you come ambling in from tell you the truth one of those vault dwellers are you i've heard tell of your kind solved a lot of problems and caused a lot of problems from what i hear you wouldn't happen to be one of the problem solving kind would you i could use one of those right about now Glad we got those bots up and oh excuse me let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the Responders. We're a band of self-titled do-gooders around these parts. Appalachia's filling up fast, and we're trying to keep everyone hale and healthy and off each other's throats. You know, I'm something of a Responder myself, actually. You don't say? Oh, then you won't be averse to helping out, will you? Now, there's a lot going on in this neck of the woods more than I can tackle myself. You got ferocious beasts roaming the forest, a creepy cult moving into the caves, and all manner of people about ready to go to war with one another. All that is to say, I could use a hand, and I'd be willing to pay you for yours. What do you think? I'd love to help. That is just terrific. Thank you a thousand times over. Let's see what's going on today. The forest is a dangerous place. Not compared to other regions, mind you, but let's not lose sight of the facts. To make it safer for new settlements, we've been clearing out dangerous critters and using the meat to feed people in need. If you could go retrieve the meat from our traps, I will happily compensate you. Okay. I appreciate your help. Stay safe out there. Uh-huh. Dangerous critters, uh... Collect fresh meat from Remember, the first trap. Some of us still want what's best for Appalachia. All right, where is this trap? It's over here? Okay. So that's this way. Is
This is an awesome place to build a camp, by the way. Just saying. have some coffee so I can run without getting tired. it, huh? Oh, over encumbered. Eh. Um, usually I'll just eat a couple of things when that happens. I'll oh, just drop this stuff. No, you know what? I'll save those. Somebody told me about that. I could just boost my strength. So after the patch, the load times are still horrific. That hasn't improved. We haven't crashed yet, though, so that's a plus. You're back. You've recovered the meat from our trip. On behalf of the responders, I can't thank you enough. You helped us make progress toward a more peaceful world. I sure wish I could say that's all the help I needed, but the work never ends. If you're in the neighborhood again sometime, I will always welcome more of your help. Day in the meantime, though, here's your payment. Have a good day now. Go. Trees are the enemy. So that's our daily quest for the day. Trees. And I'm surprised that. Oh, daily ops. Eh. I misread that. What's today's daily ops looking like? Uh, cloaking, scorched, with clouding, toxins. Hmm. Well, they're scorched. Oh, in Charleston Capitol Building? I hate that place. No thanks. No thanks. All right, forget it. But I do need to still kill some scorch, so what's another good place to do that? Well, that we're close to, I mean. Um, no, we're really so to hell with it. Let's just go to Camden Park.
Got to do some more scorched arms. A cripple more scorched arms. Little skies, huh? That is one thing that you don't get to see in Diablo 4. Or any Diablo game for that matter, because it's a top down game, but you know. It's beautiful in its own way. Alright, gotta target some arms. Yes, I'm aware that that machine back there had a, a fusion core. I've got like 50 of the damn things, so. And I've got a fusion core, um, rechar fusion core recharger from the pit upgrade, so no thanks. All set with those. <laughs> Here, there's that mob over there, but I'm trying to avoid them. Because sometimes you end up uh, inadvertently setting the oil on fire and then everything dies. Whereas I'm trying to pick them off. Is it counting these or what? Challenges. Oops. Weekly. Yes, I've got three more left. Okay, cool. Well, looks like we'll have to go for the mob now. Is that one? Is that a scorched? Uh, no, it's a ghoul. See? Yeah. That's why I try to avoid it. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, wood. That's something we need. Huh. First. I'm going to have to use a scrap kit. Okay. This is the new, um, I don't know what you call this thing, but abandoned truck camp. So, it's cool. Oh, weird. The scrap kit already sends everything into the scrap, I guess. Okay. Are we sure everything is scrapped? Yeah, apparently. Okay, cool. All right, wood is what we want next. Best place I know to get that. A bunch of it all in one place. Over here, Sylvian Sun's logging. Hey, there's, there we are. 
That's the WLB Wastelands Looney Bin. That was a photo op we did. It was a lot of fun. We were all wearing street jackets. Okay. Um, and to maximize your wood gathering, you want to swap that out and put in woodchucker. There's always three dogs here. There we go. Night, night, doggy. Now there's some wood in the back of this truck. Grab that first. Looks like uh, Spooky has joined in, so um, I will let you all go until the next adventure.